Hey everyone, it's Chris. Welcome back to a, uh, another part of our uh, Mario clone tutorial series. And um, the first thing we're going to go over real quick is, uh, you know, we for actually forgot to do something here, um, and I'll show you. Is um, when, we, uh, when we set it up so that our uh, player would bounce off the enemy when he jumps on him, um, you'll notice that his state uh, temporarily switches to an idle state, and uh, then to a jump state. <clears throat> we want um, we want that to be just a jump state. We don't we don't want to have an idle state in between because it just kind of looks weird. So let's go ahead and stop this. And the way we do that is um, in our player script up where we uh, change the animation states right here. We're um, we're telling uh, we're telling the animator that uh, is jumping and is running is false only when the uh, the player is grounded and he's not walking. Well, we need to add another condition to that. We need to say and is not bouncing. So and is not bounce. So if the player is grounded and not walking and not bounce, then he'll be idle. Otherwise, he'll be in his either walking or jumping state. And since he's not on the ground and he's not walking, he's definitely not going to be um, running. So the only other option for him to be is in a jumping state, so he'll be actually jumping if he's bouncing off the enemy's head. So, let's try that out now. We shouldn't have any idle state in between our jumping onto the enemy and bouncing off of him. There we go, perfect. All right, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and stop the uh, gameplay here and uh, we're going to jump into our castle script uh, which right now is empty and uh, we need to probably go ahead and assign it to our castle yep uh, castle does not have a script and no not the player script we want the castle script <clears throat> if you'll notice I've already created a uh, box 2d collider for it for the prefab and it's only around the door so um, colliding with the castle here or here is not going to trigger um, anything in the script. Um, the script is only going to check and uh, this is another important part is <clears throat> the uh, the is trigger part of this box 2d collider is actually checked that means that the uh, the door is a trigger and it's not actually a, a collider or it is a collider but it's not something that uh, we're going to be doing ray casting off of there's a method that checks an on-trigger event if something that has a collider in a rigid body collides with this trigger, then the on-trigger event is raised in our castle script, which then uh, we can, you know, do whatever we want based on, you know, something colliding with it. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is uh, open up this castle script. Castle script. Um... And uh, we're going to get rid of our update and our start methods because nothing else is going to happen in there. Uh, the only method we're going to need is the on trigger enter 2D. Okay. And um, the object that we're going to get here is a 2D collider, and we're going to call this other because that's the other collider. That's whatever is colliding with the uh, trigger. Okay, so we can actually get some information back from that. We only want the player to collide with uh, the castle. Um, there should never be any uh, reason that anything else collides with the castle. I don't know, maybe if you want to put an enemy patrolling around the castle uh, back and forth, he could collide with the castle, so in turn, you know, he could end the game, but you know, we're going to fix that right here. We're going to say if other, which is the collider, dot tag equals player, Okay. So only if the tag equals player do we want to um, application dot load level win. Okay. So only if the uh, the other colliders tag equals player, meaning that only the player has collided with the castle, that's the only time that we want to call load level win from our application class. Okay. And that's pretty much it for the uh, the castle code. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and try it out. So launch Unity, uh, click play, 
And let's go ahead and kill our enemy. Okay, all right. Let's jump all the way to the castle, and there we go. It's triggered, and it uh, loaded our win scene, which also has nothing on it, just like our game over scene. Um, so we'll still need to do that, but uh, that's not part of this tutorial, so let's go ahead and close or stop playing. Um, and, uh, you know, I think I'm going to stop the tutorial here uh, because the next tutorial is going to uh, basically go into the uh, question blocks and um, how to make the player interact with those. And it's going to be a bit lengthy, so I don't want to use that with this tutorial. I want to try to keep them separate. So I'll stop it here. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, and I'll see you guys soon.